All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is create an account at Auth0. So if you go to manage.auth0.com, um, I don't think you need to go to login, but it should pull up this box. All right, and what you want to do is just click sign up and create an account here. Add your email address and password, sign up. Um, I think you might have to verify your email address. All right, and then once you do that, just go ahead and log in. And once you log in, you'll have this dashboard that it brings you to. All right. Now, first thing you want to do here is create a new client. And we're going to choose, uh, let's see, this right here, single page web applications. All right. So we'll click on that, click create. And then it's going to ask you uh, which technology you're using. Okay. Obviously, we're using Angular 2. So we're going to click on that. And let's see if we, this is a quick start, it's kind of a, a tutorial, but uh, what we want to do, if you click settings, you'll have your app name. So we, let's change that to auth app. And the domain, we're going to keep that, it gives you your client ID, your client secret, um, the type single page application, we're going to keep that. Now for allowed callback URLs, we're going to go ahead and put HTTP localhost port 3000 all right and I think that's all we need to do here so let's go ahead and click save changes and now we have a client that we can use all right if we click users you don't have any now you can create users from this interface but we're not going to do that we're going to do that through our application all right so once that's all set we're going to set up our quick start so I'm just going to grab this get clone command right here and inside my projects folder we're going to paste that in and we're going to call this auth app okay then we'll go ahead and cd into auth app and let's run npm install and that'll just get all the dependencies set up now once that's done we'll just go ahead and make sure we can run it with npm start All right, that should open on port 3000. Okay, everything looks good so far. So let's go ahead and stop it, control C. And there's a couple things we need to install. Okay, so we want to install um, the uh, helper library for Auth0, which is called Angular 2 JWT. All right, so we're gonna say npm install Angular 2 dash jwt dash dash save all right and that'll go ahead and get that set up and then there's also um, the lock widget that we want to install and that's the the box when you click login and that box shows up that's the lock widget so we need to install that so npm install auth 0 dash lock dash dash save And there's also a script tag we need to include as well in our index file, which I'll get to. So let's go ahead and run npm start. Now the most important part of this is the service. That's what is going to do all the all the work with Auth0. All right, and we're going to do that in a little bit. But first, I just want to create our components, our, our main component, and just get things set up in Angular. All right, so let's go ahead and add the, the folder to the editor here. So it's mines and projects, auth app. All right, and then inside here, let's create a components folder inside the app folder. All right, and we're going to have two components. We're going to have the home component and the profile component. So let's create folders for both of those. We'll have home and we'll have uh, profile. All right, now in the profile folder, let's create profile.component.ts and we also want profile.component.ts 
dot HTML. All right, and then inside home, same thing. We'll have home dot component dot TS and also the HTML. All right, now we also want an app dot component dot HTML file. So let's create that. All right, and let's go to our app component TS. And what I'm going to do is just um, let's change this to template URL and then we'll change this to app dot component dot HTML. And in order to use that path, we have to add in here module ID and set that to module dot ID. Okay, we'll save it and then in our app HTML. We'll just say hello world for now. Save that and that we're getting hello world. Now let's copy what we have in app component TS and put it in home component TS and then just change. We'll change the selector and the file name here and then change this to home component. All right. And then we'll just copy that and we'll paste it in our profile component. We'll just change that and that and then the class name. OK, so we now have our two components and let's see in the home component HTML file. Let's just put in an H3 and for now we'll just say welcome. OK, and then in the profile component HTML, we'll put an H3 and we'll just say user profile. All right, so now what we'll do is let's create our router. All right, we want the um, home component to be the default when we come to the page and then we want slash profile to be the profile component. So in order to use our router, we're going to create a file inside of app in the app folder and we're going to call it app dot routing dot TS. All right. We've done this before. So we first need to import something called module with providers. And that's going to be from Angular core uh, at Angular slash core. And then we're going to import route and router module. That's going to be from Angular router. All right. And we want to import both of those components, the home and the profile. And that's going to be from dot slash components home home dot component. OK, same thing with the um, profile component. OK, and then we're going to create our routes. So let's say const app routes, give it a type of routes. And let's see, I don't want these quotes. All right, and then we're going to set that to an array, which will have our routes. So let's say path. This is going to be for the default or the home page, so it's just going to be empty. And then we'll say component, which will be home component. All right, and then we'll put another one in here. And this will get a path of profile. And obviously that's going to be the profile component. All right, now down here we just want to export a couple things. Const app routing providers uh, which will have the type of any array 
and we'll set that to just an empty array and then we just want to say export const routing and then set module with providers set that equal to our router module dot for root and then we're just going to pass in the, the app routes all right and then we should be all set for the router so let's save that now let's go into app.module.ts and we're going to import a few things we need to bring in the routing so import routing and we also want to bring in um, the app routing providers Okay, that's going to be from uh, that's going to be from our app dot routing file. All right, and we also want to bring in the components. We already have the core component, but let's bring in home. Okay, that's going to be in our components slash home. Okay, and then we'll also bring in the profile component. All right, and we need to add those to the declarations. Profile, and we also need to add routing to our imports right here. And then the app routing providers, we have to add to a providers array. So let's go right here. Okay, and we're gonna pass in here app routing providers. All right, and that should do it for now. So let's save that. And let's go to our index HTML. We just got to add that base href. All right, so right here, let's say base href equals slash. Okay, save that. And let's see. Okay, so now we just need our router outlet, which is going to go inside of the app.component.html. So let's say router outlet save that and now you can see welcome so we're, we're looking at our home component all right and if we go to slash profile it shows the profile component all right so we have those two set up and we also have our router set up now we're also going to use bootstrap so let's go ahead and uh, let's get the bootstrap CDN all right, so we're going to grab this CSS link, copy it, and then we'll go to index.html. And let's go right here. Style sheet, href, and then we're going to just paste that in. All right, and we're going to go to our styles.css file and just get rid of everything in there. Okay, we'll save that and go back to our application and bootstrap should now be in effect so let's um let's add a nav bar which i'm going to get from getbootstrap.com getting started examples and we'll get the starter template control u to view the source and i'm just going to grab from the nav down to the ending container div all right and then we're going to paste that inside of our app component html Okay, and then we're gonna, just going to grab this router outlet and cut it and then put it inside of the container replacing this starter template div. All right, and then up here, let's get rid of navbar fix top and then change navbar inverse to navbar default. And then for the um, project name, we'll say auth app. 
and let's see for this let's get rid of about and contact and I'm gonna get rid of the active class and we're gonna change the href to uh, router link and set that to slash alright so that'll be the home link um, and then on the other side on the right side of the nav bar we're gonna want our login our profile link and log out so what I'm gonna do is copy this UL and then paste what paste it right underneath and just add a class to it called navbar right alright let's put our profile link so router link will be slash profile all right let's take a look at that okay so now we have our home link click profile takes us to the profile all right I'm not gonna add the login and logout link yet we'll do that after uh, but in the next video we're gonna start to work with auth zero we're gonna create our service and um, our login functionality